Well, Brady is back in just hours. Tom Brady will be back in uniform with deflate gate and his suspension. Officially behind him, TB12 and the rest of the Patriots are in Cleveland to take on the Browns. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan catching up with Pat's Nation in Ohio. Kelly. Less than 24 hours from now, kickoff here at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, where the Pats will take on the Browns 1 o'clock on WPRI 12. And they've been testing the audio. They've been testing the screens inside the stadium. In the meantime, Patriots fans trickling in to Cleveland. And I've been speaking with a lot of families and folks from Rhode Island. And I spoke with this one family from Warwick. They are all Patriots fans, except for their son, who happens to be a Browns fan. So. I had to ask him why. This is the Crowley family from Warwick, and you can see they're Patriots fans. I'm Mike Chase, and definitely a Patriots fan, absolutely. I'm Caitlin Crowley, Patriots fan all the way. Ryan Crowley. <laughs> <laughs> Browns fan. Except for their son. Growing up, just always changed my team, picked the Browns, stuck with them. Hasn't really worked out yet. Since Brianna married Ryan and is stuck with him, she by default is now a Browns fan. To see Tom Brady's first game back, the family took their first football road trip to Cleveland. It was good. It wasn't not too much uh, game banter yet. We'll see how that is tomorrow morning, but it was uh, it was smooth. So <laughs> I think it was a little long. Patriots fans like Mike Crowley waited a long time to see the team be as successful as it is now. You could say back in the early 90s, the Patriots were kind of like the Cleveland Browns. They didn't win a whole lot. No, they sure didn't. Um, you know, it took a long time of uh, just bearing with them and expecting the worst a lot of times and then you know little by little and then of course we all know what where they are today but uh yeah it wasn't easy back then and it's not easy now being a browns fan We're just waiting for the day that they can become the patriots of today okay you might have to wait a little bit for that uh what do you think about tomorrow what are your predictions uh, I think I'm going to have to wait a lot longer than tomorrow. <laughs> I think that uh, the Browns will keep it competitive until about halftime, and then they'll do what they do and find a way to lose. Patriots also don't need any help winning. They're a good team, and I'm expecting them to win the game. Interestingly enough, the last time that the Browns beat the Patriots in Cleveland was in 2010, and Ryan Crowley was at that game. He says maybe he's a good luck charm. The rest of his family, though, hoping for a Patriots win. Reporting in Cleveland with the Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News. Kelly, thanks. And Kelly Sullivan will be in Cleveland following the team with reports throughout the weekend. Stay with us.